Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday at two o'clock and I don't know what time it is, I never know. I mean, what day it is, it's the 23rd. I hope you guys are looking forward to today's po or today's live. I'm gonna pull it up so I can see your comments. Um, I see some of you jumping on. Hello everybody, good afternoon. For those of you watching in the replay, thanks for watching in the replay. I always say that's the only way I can watch live videos. <laughs> I usually can't watch them when they're actually live. Um, all right, let's see. I have a fun project for you guys today. One that I have been so excited about that I've had a hard time waiting. Um, hi, Gina. Hi, Christine. Christine, I just labeled your envelope from Friday's Prize. It's going out this afternoon. I meant to get it out this morning, actually yesterday, but it's going out, I promise. Hello, hello, hello. I see all of you. Excellent. All right, so there it is over my shoulder. Before I get it, I'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes to jump on. Um, I chose this week the Takeout Treat Bundle as my product of the week. You know, I've been picking products one each week and I am having so much fun making that my lesson, if you will. I used to be a teacher, so that's how I function. And so I just use it all week long and try to give you guys ideas and tips, um, ways to use it. And the takeout treat box is probably the thing I was the most excited about from the holiday catalog when it came out in September. We have played with it here on uh, Facebook Live. It was a, a stamp club project. Um, I've done lots of things. It was in a class. Um, but I sat down this last week and really played with it, gave it some alterations. On Friday, I'm going to show you some different ways to use it. Make them smaller, make them bigger, leave them open. Um, and then today, of course, I'm going to show you the advent calendar. Um, just out of curiosity, have you guys gotten this yet? Um, this is what the framelit set looks like. Of course, this is the, to make the box, but then there's some also some great pieces in here. This little um, piece, I saw someone post asking what the coffee cup was for. This is to make a window or to cut out DSP to fit there. You see that? This is one we made a few weeks ago, um, and it has a little window in it. Um, there's also a banner, a star, a heart. The heart, um, they also have stamps, of course, that coordinate, and the heart will be great for Valentine's Day. Um, there's the holly leaf and the tag. Um, lots of good, just general shapes, I think, especially if you um, haven't, if you don't have a lot of framelits. And then the stamp set itself that coordinates with it has great sentiments. There are some images, of course, but the sentiments are great. Kind of generic in general. Thank you, this is for you, yum, enjoy, something to eat. And then there's less tricks and more treats. There's a Christmas one, um, love you lots. So you could really stretch this across all of the holidays. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining. I see all of you hopping on. All right, Sandy, you have it, but you haven't used it yet. It really is quite easy to use. Um, I, you know, sometimes we have these framelit boxes and they're hard, they're tricky. I'm not gonna name any names, hexagon box, but some of them are not difficult, like our curvy keepsake box that retired. That was my favorite because it was so easy to put together. This one um, is easy too. And um, so I guess I will kind of get started. I wanted to tell you guys at the end of this, I'm gonna go through and show you some cards here featuring the stamps that are on sale today only. So if you wanna see those, I've got a ton, make sure you hang out to the end, okay? But I'm gonna move that to the side and we'll do that, hopefully I can remember to do that at the end. Okay, so the treat box itself, We've looked at it, right? We've seen it. You see how big it is. I thought about getting some candy. Charlie has to say hello. Um, let me see. I got these today for a project. The peppermint patties. Um, they're not the York ones. They're the generic ones that are still round. So that'll kind of give you an idea of how big it is. You could probably get five or six of these in here. Ah, yes. Okay, go. I'm not talking to you. They, they always think I'm talking to them. <laughs> Um, everyone's saying hello, guys. Hello. Okay, go. Go night-night. Go. 
I have one that will do what I tell him and one that stares at me like I am an alien. Okay, back to this. Um, probably five or six, seven Hershey Kisses will fit. So this is the size. Um, I just threw together a couple and I thought I had pulled out the other ones that I had done. I guess I had it. Um, here's a little, little pilgrim, little elf. Same thing, just different colors, easy. These would be really cute at Thanksgiving to leave like with some mitts, right? At, at your Thanksgiving table. Super easy, just a starburst punch and then just a strip of black and a square of silver and a smaller square of black. That's it on soft suede. Wouldn't that be adorable? And you could even put um, that thanks, where did I say it? The thank you um, sentiment, tie a bow at the top, add that easy, cute party favor. Uh, Thanksgiving Day favor um, and um, this again kids party this would be easy so cute there's so many options if you search Pinterest for these for takeout treat boxes you'll find a ton but you can also treat uh, search um, the fry box so um, we used to have a fry box die and people turned those into tons of things. And I was kind of looking around Pinterest and I saw the fry box pilgrim and that's when I was like, oh, hello, we can turn that into a pilgrim. So you can look around. Um, Joy, you know what? I have a K cup right here. Let's look, oh, here's another one. There's the Halloween one. I can't remember, Did this was Stamp Club. Let's see, I have a K cup, that's a great idea. Let me look since we're just on here. I will tell you that these open, and I'll show you when I turn the camera around, they open like, like a, you know, like a regular Chinese takeout box, but they're a little fragile. So not fragile, but you know, it's cardstock. So I feel like your kids on this advent calendar, you're gonna have to train them how to do it. All right, K cup, let's see. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit big. Let's see, would it close? No, it wouldn't close. Um, you could tie a ribbon to keep it closed. I mean, it's like a sliver too big. That's a great question. And I actually, that had entered my mind at some point and then left as quickly as it came. I meant to look at that. Okay, so that's what they look like. Those are the sizes. Um, so today's project, oh, and I meant to share last week, I try to give away prizes, you guys, while we're doing this, and I forget to do the prizes, so I pulled it out. I have a prize for sharing today's video, um, Spirited Snowman. Just sharing the video. You can share it on your page. You can share it in groups, whatever. Share the video, and I will pick a random winner um, on Friday's Facebook Live, okay? So this is the prize. Speaking of Friday's Facebook Live, I have three more projects, <laughs> three more projects featuring the takeout treat container that we'll do on Friday, same time, two o'clock, over on my group page. So if you haven't migrated over to my group page, please do come join. Everybody is welcome. Click join. I, I mean, you don't have, there's no requirements. It's just in a group page, you have to click join instead of like. And um, that way you'll be able to see more of my stuff. Um, in a business page, which is what we're on right now, uh, Stampin' Up, I'm um, Stampin' Up, Facebook really regulates how business pages are seen because they look at us as advertisers. So if you want to see more videos and projects and sale announcements and all that, make sure you've migrated over and joined my group page, which I will add a link here at the top when I'm done. Okay, so let's look at the advent calendar. Prize, share, don't forget. Okay, so I had this idea way back in August at my team meeting, my downline Robin, I don't know if she's on here, I said kind of in passing, wouldn't it be cute to use that takeout treat container, takeout box, con takeout box <laughs> framelit to make an advent calendar? And Robin and I looked at each other and we were like, yes. And Robin said, I'm going to do it. Robin has um, some little grandkids. She thought it would be perfect. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I thought, ooh, that's going to be a ton of work. Robin, you do it. And so we laughed about it. And then I think at the retreat, she and I talked about it again. And um, I challenged her who, which one of us was going to get it done first. Because I really didn't think I was going to do it. Um, but then when I decided to do this product as my product of the week, I knew that I had to make this advent calendar. Now, in all fairness... I saw one of those videos that goes around Facebook that took actual takeout boxes and made an advent calendar. It wasn't ours, and they were pre-made, so it wasn't totally handmade. But that's where I originally got the idea. So here it is, and I texted Robin um, while I was making it. It was pouring down rain last week while I was making it. I texted her. That's what I was doing. I had 100 other things to do, but I decided to make this. 
Um, and in my mind, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Honestly, to cut them out and to assemble them, it was under an hour, maybe right about an hour. Now, I'm pretty fast when I do stuff, but to me, that didn't seem like a very long time. It also did not take a lot of product. As I'm gonna show you in a minute, one box is half a sheet of cardstock. So we have, let's see, I wrote it down, 20 Call Me Clover boxes. So that's just 10 Call Me Clover pieces. And then we needed three soft suede boxes. So then that is one and a half sheets of cardstock. And then the top is gold shimmer, gold glimmer. And so you just need, you know, a quarter of gold glimmer. And um, the numbers, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little while. I'm gonna post pictures this afternoon on my blog, closer up of all of this. Um, I made all the boxes and had no idea how I was gonna add the numbers. And then I decided to, how I was gonna do it afterwards. And I'll show you. I did a little circle punch and just put them. I didn't want them to take away from the look of the tree. I wanted them to kind of blend in, so that's what I did. Call Me Clover ink and Call Me Clover cardstock. Um, and I'll show you. Now on the sides, can you guys see? Of course, hello, it's gotta have the buffalo check, right? Um, so, and on the bottom and on this side. And I cheated, and I'm gonna show you how I cheated. I did not stamp every single box. Just the ones on the outside are getting that treatment, if you will. Um, and these guys here, soft suede. Um, just because I felt like that kind of made it a little more interesting. Um, these are glimmer cardstock, glimmer paper also, cut with a star that's included in this framelit set. The, the bow is our burlap ribbon. I cut it up along the edge, pulled out the fibers, and held them together and tied a bow. Um, I wanted it to be kind of uh, fluffy, but I also wanted it to be rustic, and that's why I used the burlap. Um, now, I made the tree before I knew what I was gonna put on it, put it on. I didn't know what size it was gonna be, what I was gonna need, so I made it and I arranged it on my desk and I measured what I needed. And so then I headed out to Michael's. Um, Michael's has some um, little like board, you know, um, not shiplap, but you know, little three or four boards put together with a with a, um, a hook or whatever. And I thought that's what I was going for. But as soon as I walked in, they had this whole section of this, it was like farmhouse rustic-y stuff. It wasn't Christmas, it wasn't, maybe it was for fall, I don't know. But basically what this is, is a chalkboard. And it says here on the back, well, it does say fall on the back. Um, and it was $24.99 and then 50% off, so. $12, let's measure it, measure it. Let me get my, my um, yardstick. It is, so you could use a frame, you could use a board that you paint, you could use a canvas, you could use really anything. And I really tried to find something that I had here already at home, but I didn't have anything. Okay, so it's 16 by, well, 16 by, well, that's not right, no, it's, 15 by, I measured it wrong, hold on, 15 by 20. 15 by 20. All right, so there's that. And that's where I got it. Here's the tag in case you wanna look at it, I don't know. Michael's, car. It's, a, it's like a chalkboard. Okay, so now let me tell you how I made these, okay? First, I'm gonna switch the camera around here in a second. Um, I feel like it needs to be sitting here. <laughs> You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I used three different stamp sets on this. Actually, no, I take that back because I didn't use this on that. Didn't use this. I used the Buffalo Check, of course. And for the numbers, I used the Make a Difference stamp set. And the numbers are right here. Okay? All right. So that's what I used. Remember, I'm going to put all this on my blog um, this afternoon. Now, I'm not going to make this whole thing today, guys. I hope you know that I'm not going to be here for two hours. <laughs> I'm just going to show you a little bit and then show you how to do it from there. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around. So, um, just a second. So you can see out my porch. And I meant to plug in my microphone today. I bought a microphone so that I would sound a little clearer because I really can't stand the echoey sound. 
in my office. I have hardwood floors in here. Um, just so that you know, this is actually from Facebook Friday, but this is the host code that we'll be using this week. And if you would like to put in an order, especially today, because we have the sale, the one day sale, if you use this host code, I will send you Fridays, this coming Fridays, make and takes, which will be our little treat boxes and st stuff, okay? So just so that you know, it's not these, but it's the three we're gonna do on Friday. If you wanna put your order in ahead of time, here's the host code, um, and you can do that. Today's um, one day sale are stamps that, um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this microphone. It's not gonna work today. Um, it's a selection of stamps that are all 15% off. It's Stampin' Up's 30, 30th birthday. So they've got a whole bunch and I'm gonna show you those when we're done, okay? All right, let's get started. And I'm just gonna show you the basic things because this really, you guys, is not that hard. Um, I was putting it off, like I said, my downline Robin and I were kind of laughing about it. Who would actually make it? And I really thought it would be her because I really thought this was gonna to be too much work. And honestly, it was not. It was a rainy afternoon, I got it done, got all the boxes made in less than an hour, and then just kind of pieced it together over the weekend here and there. All right, so I told you to make one box, you need half a sheet of cardstock. This is Call Me Clover. And yes, you can cut two sheets at one time, which is what I did. Um, I doubled up. So you're basically, you can cut one box at a time if you put another sheet under here. But if not, if you're just gonna do one, you're gonna just cut your paper at five and a half on the long side. That way it'll fit on both. Let me show you. There's one, and then the other one fits right here. I also started making these in real red, because of course I love real red, but then I stopped after I had made two of them and I thought, wait a minute, we need to make them green and make them in the shape of a tree. I kind of started with no direction. I do that sometimes, I get so excited, and then I think, okay, stop, hold on. All right, so here's your basic, what they look like. Um, I recommend using your bone folder on these. So take that bone folder, and go in and burnish all those lines. That way it'll go together nice and crisp. And you're gonna need to do both of them. And you can see that one side is bigger and it kind of has like this claw right here. And then one side is skinny. Um, they also have, they both have tabs on each side. So tear and tape's perfect for this because it is the perfect width for your tab. So just put your tear and tape. Now, if you have fast fuse, you can use that because that is actually what I used when I was making those over there. Um, so put that there, you put your fast fuse, I mean your tear and tape, and go through and burnish. I did this while I sat and watched TV, so it really felt like no time at all. And I think your first couple will take you longer than the rest because you're kind of figuring it out and getting in a system, you know? All right, tear and tape here. Tear and tape here. And then we're gonna put tear and tape on the bottom right here. Now when you put them together, you need them to be opposite. So the two claws right here are opposite and the two skinnies, right? Or opposite. So just take your tear and tape and put it down. One thing I do like about this um, as an advent calendar is that it's small and you're not gonna, it's not gonna cost you a fortune. See how I'm putting these right, setting them right on top of each other. They fit perfectly like that. You know, I have three girls and advent calendars cost me a fortune when I do them for them and I do them every year. Um, one year I tried to do one that had three different things in them for each girl because they're very different. My girls are very different. There's a big difference in age and the oldest and the youngest. It cost me a fortune. So then the next year I just started buying advent calendars. Um, the Lego advent calendars were very expensive. All right, I'm gonna fold the tabs in and just adhere them behind the next piece. 
So I think this year, we're gonna do this. Now that they're older, we can just do candy. This would fit three pieces of candy with no problem. Or, I don't know, maybe some other little things that would go in here. All right, so there it is. I mean, that's it. Basic, super easy. There is how you put it together. Um, now, you're gonna fold these in like this and then take these. And this is where I say it might be a little persnickety for a child. So you might wanna do it for them if they're small. You just slide them together. Um, I was playing around kind of coming up with some alternate options. You could always do like that. But I really like the way it looks because then it looks like a, a takeout container. Okay, so I had done this and then I thought, what am I gonna do for the numbers? And I had this piece here. So I thought, you know what? I am just going to punch out a tiny half inch circle and stamp these numbers. Now, if you are organized and with it enough to do this ahead of time right here, you could. Uh, but you'd have to really like plan it out and see where you need to put the number. I was in speed mode, so I was putting them together super fast. And then I even, as I was stamping the numbers, I got, got them mixed up a little bit. So I kind of like doing it afterwards because then I can have them all in place and add the numbers. But you don't have to do the circle. You could just stamp it right on that flap. All right, so there's that. And that's it, right? Except for the buffalo check. Now, if this one, let's see, let me make some room. If this one was to go right here in the middle, it's done. But if it goes over here on the right or on the left, I need to make this on here. Can you see how that's just another piece there that I've added on? And if it's one of these over here, then I need to add on these stamped images as well as down here at the bottom. So I glued them all on. Um, let me tell you a little bit about that. First, I put them on without glue. I got them where I wanted them, okay? And then I picked one up at a time and I hot glued it down. That's how I got them. I noticed that this row is a, well, I can't see it. This row down here is a little bit closer than this row, um, but that's, that's typical for me because I'm always in a rush. I'm always doing things fast. But if you go slow um, and just space them out and eyeball it, um, I put it down on the floor so I could stand up and look at it. Um, then they, you know, but it's just it's just eyeballing it. And just pick one up at a time to glue it, okay? Okay, so then let's talk about the buffalo check. I stamped my buffalo check background stamp four times I basically did four card fronts um, worth of cardstock and this is I had this much left over so you'll have enough um, and then I cut out this is call me clover ink on call me clover cardstock I cut another one of these and I just cut out the, the part of the big one which is where's my die right here after I die cut, I just cut this out with my scissors and then I cut this one out. And I'm gonna use them as templates on here, okay? So, and you could, you just need to count and see how many you need. For the front, I only, I needed however many were down there in that bottom row. And for the sides, I needed however many were on the, on each side, I think it was five and five. All right, so just trace it. Nothing super fancy. You could if you wanted, um, to cut it out with a die, but I think this is faster. So like that. Um, now there's the other little coffee cup die that you could use also, but it's quite a bit smaller than, see how much smaller it is? And I wanted it to cover more than just that. Plus it wasn't really the right size for the side. So I just traced it and then I just put them on there whichever ones needed it, like that. All right, that's it, you guys, how easy. The thing that's gonna take you the longest is actually just assembling those boxes. Here's my list. There's 20 Call Me Clovers, ten, uh, three soft suede boxes. Gosh, this thing is big when you try to get it in the video. Um, one gold glimmer, and I did not put a number on the gold glimmer. I just didn't want to take away from it. It's number one, it's the last one. They'll know. 
is I started down here at the bottom, 24 all the way to one. Okay, so then you need your burlap ribbon, you need a half inch circle, you need gold glimmer. The stamp sets are Buffalo Check. I am gonna put this on my blog. <laughs> Tuesdays are, are more relaxed than Fridays, can you tell? Make a difference for the alphabet. You could print those too. Um, if you don't have an alphabet set, you could always print them. Although I can't get Stampin' Up! cardstock to go through my printer. Maybe you can. All right, so do you guys have questions about this? Um, it's really cute. It's gonna hang on the wall. It's got, it already, this, this board already had that hook on the back, that rope hook. Hello, hello, everybody who has said hello. <laughs> Sandy. Good. I hope you find it at Michael's because I just bought it just this weekend, like Sunday or Saturday. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who has shared. What did I forget to tell you? Did I forget to tell you guys anything about this? It's so really simple. Um, and honestly, it's not going to take you very long. And if you're a demonstrator, I do absolutely think you could do this as a class. Um, you know, 10 sheets of, of green, one and a half of soft suede, about a quarter of the gold glimmer. I think it would be fun. It would be fun to put all of these together if you had friends to talk to you <laughs> while you're doing it. Um, but it really doesn't take that long. It just really didn't take that long. So on Friday, I have three different takeout treat projects for you over on my group page. Again, make sure you go over there and join the group page. One of them is a smaller, it's altered so that it's smaller. And one of them I have right here and I'm gonna show you, it's altered so that it's bigger. Can you see the difference? It took me forever to figure this out. I, I am embarrassed to say how long it actually took me to figure it out, but I'm gonna show you it's really not that hard. Um, so we're gonna do one of these. We're gonna do one that's a s'mores gift and it, it's an open box. Um, and so those will be the three make and takes if you want to put in an order. Um, this host code to get the three projects I show you on Friday. The deadline for that is Monday at midnight. I'm trying to just wait to see if you guys have any questions. Can you send a close-up of the UPC code? It will be faster for us to find. Okay, Donna, let's see if I can put the UPC code up. Let's see. From Michael's. Fall, autumn, it says chalkboard. Home organization. I don't know, does that help? But really, you guys, you could use anything. I was at Hobby Lobby today and I saw lots of different things that you could use also. Um, and if I'll look on michaels.com and see if it's there and I'll link it up too on my blog, my blog post. All right, before you guys go, I just wanted to touch on the sale that we're having right now because it's a really good sale. 15% um, off select stamps. I listed some today over on Facebook for you, um, but I have, I just went through my drawer real quick and pulled out some that I have. This card, these were my um, In Color Club cards for September. Super cute, right? Buffalo Check's not in the sale, but the Friendly Expressions set is, and it's a great scripty um, font. So there's that one, Friendly Expressions, 15% off. Um, sunny Days, the lemonade stand, so cute. Um, this one, oh, what is this one called? Um, yeah, I can't remember. I had it open. Hold on, let me look. One in a million or who knows? Who knows what it is? One something, one for all. One for all, that's what this one's called. It's got that cute little silhouette. And yes, these are available in starter kits too. If you've been thinking about buying that starter kit and joining my team, these are actually make and takes from my team meeting in July, I think. So you could take advantage of the sale that way too. Um, one bit, no, one big meaning, no, yes, one big thank you. <laughs> I knew all of these names before we went on and now I can't remember them. A big thank you. A big thank you. 
you are the best. Now this one is Blow Out the Candles, and I did a class with this one in August. It's really cute. It's a really fun birthday set, if you need a good birthday set. And then here is one that we did for Facebook Friday one week, the free cake. So cute, that boom box. Any of you from the 80s, you need the boom box in your life, right? You're retro, you're not old, you're retro. And yay, free cake. Then this is one, and these were swap cards. This is from my friend Kay, and this is from my downline Lisa. This is that beautiful, oh, what's it called, you guys? Why am I suddenly drawing a blank on everything? Cake soiree, that's what it is. Um, the cake soiree set. And that came out last year in the spring catalog. It was a big popular seller, and now you can get it. If you didn't get it then, you can get it 15% off. And then, of course, my favorite, the bunny. Here's one of the cards I did, and then a card we did on Facebook Friday, and then one my friend Ange McKay did. All right, so that's just a small selection. You guys need to go over there and check it out. I'll list the link here on the video. Um, however, the sale ends tonight at midnight, mountain time. So you've got to make sure, if you wanna take advantage of that sale, that you do it sooner rather than later, 15% off. Um, and yes, it will qualify you if your order is $30. It'll qualify you for the make and takes from this upcoming Friday's Facebook Friday. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. I hope you liked this. I couldn't wait to show you. I've got lots of pictures to upload on my blog in just a little while. Um, so uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? And have a great week. Join my group, and I will see you on Friday at 2 Central. All right? Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.